Okay, I said in my last video if I found anything interesting going through my bins, I would share it with you. And I found this. Look at the color of this worm. This worm I just found in the red wiggler bin. These are the worms that I got from Gatano at northeastworms.com about a month ago. And I was going through them all, checking them. And this one is like, it's like a dang rainbow worm. You see the, the very tip is salmon. Then it has yellow. Then we go into like a peach sort of color. And then it looks like there's food in the middle there. And then we have a peachy salmon. And then we go down to light. And then you can see all the, the castings that are not yet secreted from its tail. I mean, it is all the characteristics of a really healthy red wiggler. But the color is mind-blowing to me. I'm not sure if this is a mutation or something that's diet-related or what is going on. So clearly this is the mouth end. And, oh, come on, phone. I did not buy you to do this. Hold on, guys. Hold on. All right. Let me flip them up. Let me flip this worm up. So, you can see the mouth end. And this black there must be food that it just ate. And it's probably... Oh, the phone. Sorry. I'm probably not going to edit that out. The phone was not working. That's probably the food it just ate that hasn't worked down yet. It's almost like this has become an albino worm. Because down here you can see the intestines and that's the poop chute. And that's all what's about to come out. And this must be what just went in. This is fascinating to me. Not only is the worm really healthy, but it's freaking beautiful in my opinion anyway. So I'm going to put it back. I know it's nothing other than a red wiggler. I don't know why it has done this transition. Personally, I have not seen this before. And that fascinates me because I love finding new things. That's one of the things about raising worms that's amazing, is you discover things you've never seen before that you may not understand and that makes it even more interesting so since I'm here now this bin is about a month old I didn't put the date on it but it's about a month old now these were brand new worms out of the box um, from Gatano at northeastworms.com and they were it was just one pound of the red wigglers and you can see two cocoons right here I'll show you the worms um, can see how much castings they've made here's a cocoon right here and this is on top of course there's a cocoon right here I'm, I'm going kind of quickly there's a cocoon right down whoops I just bit right here here there's a cocoon right here there's a cocoon right here here's another right there so I'm going quick I mean if I really um, we have here we have here and there are a few mites in here but they didn't come from Gatano they came from my Indian blue bin that got some mites when I put in a whole pineapple but anyway since I'm doing since I showed you that amazing awesome looking worm I just want to show you some of the worms now these are the these are not euros the reds are so freaking big. Gatano's worms are pretty amazing, guys. And I don't, I'm not an affiliate. I don't sell his worms. I'm just a customer, a buyer, and they are so big. To me, they look like the size of euros. But look at this. Look at this spectacular worm. Amazing. And these worms have made so many castings and this was a sterile bin um meaning they didn't have castings added to it it was bedding and i added the worms now this you see this dark cocoon right here this is a hatched cocoon and this is full of creatine and they will eat that that shell so i leave those in of course but you can see how fat and plump these are 
and there's another cocoon. This is not a worm chow fed bin. This is a simple worm bin, food scraps from my kitchen. Cocoon, cocoon, I'm just flipping. And um, there's been no manure added to this. It's just, the worms are really good. When Gatano said he has awesome worms, I bought a pound. I mean, look at the, the clotellum on this worm. No wonder there's so many cocoons. They're, they're really good worms, guys. So, you know, there's a lot of worm sellers out there. I've purchased worms from sellers, and I've gotten really good worms. But I'm telling you, if you need worms and you want to order from Northeast Worms, you will not be disappointed. I highly recommend them. And one of the things is I've gotten to know Gatano. We are now what, you know, we now have established a, perso a personal friendship. Um, and I know his personality and I've learned the TLC that he puts into his worms. He's not, he's not just open the lid and dump food in and leave kind of guy. He babies his worms. He, he values his worms. He has emotions over his worms, as we all should. Look at that cocoon hitchhiking on the back of this worm. Um, you know, it's not, yes, he's a businessman, but he's not so big see that one there he's not so big that he can't put TLC and that I think matters there's another one that just fell down right there so this bin it needs oh, there we go there's a really pretty cocoon right there and I can see a worm butt a AV that's a worm butt I know it but down next to the worm butt in there there what it just fell that was a cocoon so I just saw another one. Up oh, there it is. There's the cocoon. It's like I spy. And you can see the castings are fluffy. So I need to add another layer of food. All the worms are getting now is um, wild plantain. Not to be confused with the banana type version. Plantain is a medicinal. It's a weed, but it's also a medicinal plant. And I throw it in... Um, the blender just to grind it up because it's really fibrous it takes way too long to break down and they get grit and based on that these are the castings and the cocoons from one pound in here are just really so impressive so um you, you if you want worms i recommend them i know i'll be buying more from him i sell worms but i also buy worms i like to I like to get worms from different different here look one two three four cocoons right there and I bet if I spread this out five right in this handful I just picked up and what I was about to say is I like to try worms from different sellers up oh, six to you know see if they meet the claims that they make on their website and on their YouTube channels a few have very much disappointed me and were d even difficult to deal with when I needed customer service and a couple have been outstanding. So um, since this is about Northeast Worms, I can say that Gatana was outstanding to deal with and you know, I'll be a repeat customer. Oh, there's a little mite, but that is not a problem. They came from the pineapple and they will go away when the pineapple's done. But look at these cocoons, they're everywhere. Which, you know, the cocoon, yes, Gatano has awesome worms. And, you know, the size of these guys are really impressive to me. Um, they did look well initially, of course, they were dehydrated. And I did a video on that because worms have to be shipped dry. And they lose a lot of weight. They can lose a third of their weight in two days and they lose their moisture. That's okay. That's the only way they're going to arrive alive. So, you know, I got them and they were really skinny because they were dehydrated and within two days they were super fat. Um, Gatano feeds a lot of mushroom substrate and um, his own really nice organic worm chow, which is fine, but 
I don't feed that. So these guys, you know, they're not as fat. And that's okay because I'm not using them for fishing and I'm not selling them. These are just to make castings. And, you know, I feed them. I don't have the ability to make, to buy the ingredients to make worm chow. And I do have an overabundance of weeds out in my yard. So, yep, I just wanted to show you that. That first worm I showed you, you know, it's back in here somewhere. And, uh... You know, I just wanted to go through, like, every time I turn, look, there's two more cocoons. So what I want, oh, I know, I, I rudely dis interrupted myself. Um, I, I was saying earlier that, yes, Gatano has amazing worms, but how well they're breeding is an indicator of how happy they are. Look at this. Look at these cocoons. It's a, it's a matter of their bedding, their food, their moisture level, their... Um, level of crowdedness or not crowdedness population I guess the cocoons are there's as many cocoons as there are worms in here um, so you know yes his worms are super healthy but all these cocoons is because of how I've been raising them and I'm very much like Gatano in the TLC that I put to my worms I mean I I'm a babier when it comes to worms I'm doing this slowly so you can see all the cocoons because I'm so happy of how many more I'm going to have. Look at this, guys. There's just no end. And for them to breed this aggressively, being brand new in a sterile bin, and for this much castings in only a month, these worms are really happy. And they're really healthy. And that makes me happy. I don't know if it makes me healthy, but it might. Well, we know that this certainly is the love shack down here. And for that, I am grateful that I have worms that came in good condition and that I'm providing an environment that the worms are super happy in. So... That's all. I wanted to show you that weird, almost albino worm. And since I chose to do that, I figured I'd just show you the, the worms in general. And then when I saw the 70 billion cocoons, yeah, plus or minus one, um, Patrick will correct me. He'll say it's 6481, I'm sure. And I wanted to share that with you. So have an awesome day. And these worms are having an awesome day. And I'm going out to the garden. Take care.